Hello, this is Aviation Blue Tech. Uh, today I'm going to be showing another unboxing video. I got these from uh, JetCollector.com. Um, really fast shipping, so thank you guys. Um, these are from uh, the latest Gemini uh, delivery. Uh, I think it's a couple of models that I didn't previously get, and also a couple of Phoenix models. So uh, uh, I know um, you guys. I don't know if you guys see my previous video of my. Uh, of uh, the British Airways uh, Airbus 350 that I got, 350-1000, uh, which was uh, came uh, was a disaster. It came in on glue and everything. But uh, the good news is they are gonna send me uh, collectible jets. Uh, they are sending me a new model replacement model, so I appreciate that, guys. So, uh, but I mean, it's Gemini's. You know, I've been collecting them for almost 20 years, and you know, I I love Gemini jets. Uh, and most of the time they do do a good job yeah it just it's just a certain models i'm not sure they have been doing a good job with the 737s uh with the max and uh, the dash 900 and the 800s uh, they've been doing a really good job on those uh but i am very disappointed in them on the uh air buses uh the airbus 320 especially 321s 319s the the engines are just uh they have done a horrible job as far as the scale on the Neos, the same thing. Uh, they began uh, with gigantic engines. They have scaled it down a little bit. Uh, it is a lot better, and the nose is a lot better. They just, they still got it. Still is not there yet. But uh, we have to keep on uh, mentioning to them so they could fix that up. I mean, we do pay a lot of money for this stuff, uh, and we love the the models. But you know, we gotta get the. We gotta get them to fix that stuff because you know uh, it is uh, you know as collectors uh, we want to pay if we're gonna pay good money we want to get good quality stuff so but anyway without any further delay uh, let's get this uh, unboxing video uh, started okay so here's the packaging uh, did a good job on it um, so let me take uh, the models out so here are the four models uh, that I'm gonna be uh, reviewing on this unboxing video. Uh, we have the uh, Air Canada uh, 787-9 from Phoenix. We have the Iberia Airbus A350-900 from Phoenix. We got the Vietnam Airlines Airbus A350-900 uh, from Gemini Jets uh, on the Sky Team livery. And uh, we have the WestJet on the new livery from Aero Classic 737 Max 8. I'm going to go around and show you guys uh, my opinion on each one and let you uh, give you my honest opinion on uh, whether you should get it or not. Okay, the first model we got here is the Air Canada 787-9 uh, from Phoenix. Uh, registration number is uh, Charlie-Foxtra-Victor-Lima-Quebec. Uh, um, I believe this one came out a few months ago, but I never got a chance to... Uh, to do um, the review on it. Uh, as far as the model, uh, I could tell you I, I took a look around the model itself and I did not find any defects. It is a beautiful model. Uh, I'm still on the fence on the livery. I think I prefer the old one, but this one, it sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I'm not sure about how I feel about the raccoon eyes on the cockpit windows, but you know, it's kind of growing on me. But as far as the mold of the model, it is a uh, Phoenix did a really good job on it. I did not find any defects on it. Um, um, you know, they always have the uh, tendency to maybe make it a little too shiny, but it does look good. Um, so I can't really complain about that. Um, but you know, they got the aerials, uh, antennas, uh, the paint job, it's uh, really nice no defects with the landing gears or the engines so um and let me check out the wheels yep no issues with the uh, with the wheels itself so this is a beautiful model um i highly recommend it you will be seeing this one on uh, on my lax updates so i highly recommend you getting it um i will give this one a 9.5 uh, out of 10 uh highly recommend it 
Next model we have is the uh, Iberia Airbus A350-900 from Phoenix. Registration is Echo Charlie dash uh, Mike X-Ray Victor. Uh, this just came out. Uh, again, I took a the look around the model. Again, I did not find any. Uh, couldn't find any defects. Uh, uh, except just the gears. It's got the little clunkiness on it. Uh, the extra rubber. Uh, you know, the Phoenix is, is kind of known for that. Especially on the on the big models. Uh, sometimes they, they get the little extra rubber on them. But, uh, you know, I could live with that. As far as uh, the antennas, the areas, everything looks good. Didn't find any uh, defects. Um uh, uh, as far as uh, the landing gears, uh, didn't find any any bent gears or anything like that. The engines are good. Um, as far as the detail on the nose, uh, Phoenix uh, did a really good job on it. Uh, the nose it does look much better now. Uh, it's getting uh, they are getting um, getting better at it. Uh, not quite there yet, but you know they're getting close and. Um, and besides that you know the usual shiny extra shiny but you know like i said um all the you know those little details uh that i could live with but as far as the model uh it is a beautiful model i would highly recommend getting it um you know they're not gonna be flying it to lax yet the 350 i think they be they're gonna be doing uh mainly uh jfk but you know in the future who knows uh so you might see it on the on my LAX airport but this one uh, I'll give this one a 9 out of 10 I do recommend getting it uh, I know uh, there's some places that are uh, actually sold out already so uh, if you can find one uh, get your hands on it because uh, Iberia models are, are actually very uh, um, very hard to get so highly recommend getting it next uh, we have uh, Vietnam Airlines uh, it was A350-900 on the Sky Team livery. Uh, registration is uh, Victor November dash uh, Alpha eight nine seven. Uh, again, um, I took a look around, and I did not see uh, any defects on this model. Also, uh, so so far so good. Um, the the nose on this one does look a little more realistic uh, uh, on the 350. Uh, so I kind of like the way Gemini had, had done that. Um, it is not that shiny, so it looks uh, it looks a little more uh, realistic. Um, I like the way the engines came out. Um, the landing gears, uh, no extra bubble on them. So uh, again, uh, really good job on it. Um, just might be, uh, the wheel might be just, uh, turn a little turn to the, to the right, but you know, that's okay. Um, you know, the, these are not going to come out perfect a hundred percent. I could live with that. It's got the nice antennas, uh, the nice, uh, white looking uh, dome there. Um, so the colors on this are perfect. Uh, the engines, uh, didn't see any defects on them. Um, as you can see the gears uh, they do float and uh, as far as uh, rolling they do roll um, so Gemini Jets did a good job on this uh, this is another model that I highly recommend getting it I hope the Vietnam I believe they're gonna start flying to LAX and I believe it's with the 350 so uh, and if they are you definitely will see um, this model at my airport so Again, I highly recommend this one. So I will give this one uh, a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, last but not least, we got the WestJet on the new livery. Uh, 737 MAX 8 Aero Classics. Uh, registration number is Charlie Foxtra November uh, Whiskey Delta. Uh, you know, Aero Classics is, is getting better at, at getting uh, on the 7.3s. Um, still, um, prefer Gemini when it comes to the 7.3s. Gemini, like I said, I haven't had any issues with them, uh, with the 7.3s. Um, 
Aero Classics is getting better. Um, this one does have an issue with the uh, dome. It's kind of got some, um, it's not painted all the way and it's sticking out a little bit and it's not kind of flush with the, um, with the fuselage. Uh, I do believe the wings a little, uh, it's hard to tell, but it is kind of bent downwards a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's on both sides or more. Um, uh, as far as the landing gear, uh, the nose gear to me it is a little small for the model um, so it has that issue uh, as far as the paint job they did a good job on the paint job I uh, have no issues with that the the split scimitars uh, they look good um, again just the wings a little bent uh, and um, and I think the length of the wings are, might be a little shorter um, so I don't, you know, it, it, I prefer on the, I prefer the Gemini Jets, uh, to be honest, uh, than the Aeros Classic when it comes to the 7.3. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, if, uh, if I had to give a recommendation, I think I would wait for the Gemini Jets, to be honest. Uh, if you can't wait, then yeah, uh, you could get this one, uh, but, um. Uh, uh, as far as uh, you know, if if you if you really wanna uh, um, get something that you're gonna really uh, like, uh, I would get the wait for the Gemini Jets. Hopefully, they will be coming out in the future. I know that uh, they're actually coming out with one next uh, next month, but it's the old paint, uh, the old livery. So I'm not sure why they did that, but uh, hopefully, uh, sometimes Gemini will surprise you, and the next month they will come out with a new livery. So. Um, so as far as this one, uh, again, uh, um, if I had to uh, give it a score, I would give this one a seven point five out of out of ten, uh, just because uh, you know the 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 wings that I found, the landing gear, uh, uh, the actual the nose on this one is fine, but other than that, I will wait for the Gemini Jets. So I can recommend buying this one only if uh, if you wanted to um i would recommend waiting for the gemini jets that's just my honest honest opinion on it well this concludes this video review i hope you guys enjoyed it um i will be coming out i am working on the my lax uh first lax airport update uh should be coming out next week so, so stay tuned for that also i do have more models uh coming in and i do have uh, more models i am going to be adding more models for sale on my eBay uh, page so uh, uh, I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description below so check that out so uh, take care and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video until next time uh, take care